YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got a haul for you. I know you missed me on Thursday and Friday. But this one is a, a thrift store, a couple thrift stores, a couple garage sales, and a couple of regular stores. I went to Columbus over the weekend with my daughter. Um, she's into anime and that kind of thing, and they have a big convention down there called Matsuri Con. So we were down there for the weekend. She did that and I relaxed and shopped and read a book and enjoyed myself. So I wanted to show you my spoils because I know you missed me. Didn't you miss me? <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how many places I went or how much I spent. But I did get some things for myself too. So let me show you. This, I don't know what it was with this picture, but it just is so sweet. This was at a garage sale for $5. Real nice frame. Little girl, little pudgy girl sitting there looking at a bird. Um, these bags are really cool. They are really heavy duty reusable bags I got at Pottery Barn and I love them. So I'll probably be using these to take my stuff out to my antique mall. It's nice to find a bag that isn't going to fall apart on you. Um, this is a chalkboard uh, with a guy on top. And it says wine selections. So that, I believe, was two or three. Uh, and the one next to it is for fall. It was $3, and it says harvest. This one I got for me, but I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it. I don't know if you can see it. It's an H for our last name. Isn't that cool? I believe that was $2. You know, it's probably one of those things at a garage sale where you think, how many people are going to come along with an H for a last name? So I'll price it low. And I'm glad they did. So, let me show you what else I got. At Pottery Barn, I got these. I needed some more bins for my basement downstairs for more organizing. And these were pretty sturdy and they were only a dollar a piece. I think I got five or six of those. Um, uh, they also had these really pretty uh, kitchen towels for a buck a piece. So I think I got five or six of those. Because some of mine are pretty old and they're falling apart and a buck is a good price. Um, I got a sink stopper. I don't have, a, I have a big sink downstairs that I use for washing stuff and I can't find the plugs to save my neck. So, um, I hope that fits. <laughs> I guess I'll see. Um, these are really cool. These were at a garage sale for a quarter. And it says gift wrap but it's really thick and it's just like newspaper or something can't really focus on that but that's okay so I think what I'm gonna do is I have a little shelf that I'm redoing this winter and I'm gonna paint the shelf and then I'm gonna put these in the this uh, paper in the back of the shelves so I think that'll look cute uh, thrift store 50 cents each got a couple of spatulas because I'm starting to make um, I made my first batch of homemade soap and I'm thinking about making some basic uh, scents and selling it at my antique mall. So I wanted to get a couple that, uh, that are exclusively for that. Because once you use that stuff for soap making, you don't want to really use it for anything else. So, yeah. Um, bag of blocks, that was a whole two bucks. Blocks do pretty good at my antique mall. Because they're, you know, vintage throwback to old toys. I just need to find a little container or a little bin or something to put them in. Um, this shelf I found for $4.99. We're always looking for display stuff for our antique mall. And I thought this would be perfect when I start making my soap. And it was only $4.99. You know, you see something you think you really like and then you're afraid to look at the price. But I saw it was $4.99. I said, cool. I may end up spray painting it or leaving it alone. And see where the price tag is. They even have little sleeves where you can slide a piece of paper in there and, you know, label the shelves, which would be nice. I got a metal rooster. I think he was three ninety something, so four bucks. He's pretty heavy. I uh, got this set of four bowls at a garage sale for a buck. Um, I'm always not necessarily breaking them, but I like the nice deep ones for soup and pasta and that kind of thing, so quarter piece you couldn't hardly beat that um, what else I got some tennis balls uh, the area we moved in not too far there's a public uh, 
tennis courts, and we have a couple rackets, and I told the kids, I'm like, when the weather cools off a little bit, let's go down there and knock the ball around. So I think I paid a buck for that at the thrift store. Um, I don't know if you know, but I, I'm sure you do, if you watch me at all, that I make my own laundry soap. And I have such a hard time grading the Fells Naphtha bar of uh, laundry soap. And it is hard as a brick, and I tell you, it's, it's a pain. So I thought, I'm going to cut it up into pieces and use this cheese grater. See if that helps me. It was only, I think, a buck or two, and I figure it's worth the try. Way back there is a little metal Eiffel Tower for two bucks. Uh, Eiffel Towers always do really good. You know, anything that says Paris, people like that kind of stuff. I got this little bird. It's a little box, and I believe it was only 50 cents at one of the thrift stores. And on the bottom is a tag from Pier 1. Um... This was interesting. I don't know if anybody needs these, you know, because this is one of those sets. This was a dollar. It is a learn to quilt wall hanging, and I don't know. I guess all the pieces are there, but the regular price um, was $15, so I figured that was a good price. Um, this was a little bag for 90 cents, and I'll show you what was in it because I looked through it. Um, this is just uh, the wire with the leaf on it. Um, these are unique, and they're old school, and it's from the Creative Circle, which I guess was a uh, company that would send you kits. These are little stick pins, and they're cross-stitch, and they have everything in here. It's funny, though. The only thing in it that's not good is there is, uh, there was like a little tube of glue to glue it into the stick pin once you finished it and it was hard as a brick <laughs> so it was definitely vintage because the glue had seen better days so um, there was two of those they are the same design uh, this is really cute this is also one of those uh, craft kits the creative home arts club and it's just a little zipper pouch and it has the embroidery thread so you can embroider flowers on it. It's neat. It's got a, even a thimble and a pair of scissors in there. So that was all in the 90 cent bin. Um, I did buy a couple of books on soap making. I have a basic recipe, but I'm just trying to, you know, put my toe in the water and not try and get too fancy right off. So I got this one at Half Price Books, the Complete Soap, Soap Maker. That was, I think, $5.99. This one was more, but I liked it better because it talks about um, cold process soap, which is the what I'm going to do or what I've done. And uh, this one was at Barnes & Noble, so you know it was expensive. It was $20, but look how the book is bowed. So you know me, I went up and I said... This is the last one over there, and it's kind of warped. Would you take any off of it? She said 10%. I'm like, well, that's two bucks. I guess I won't complain. <laughs> and in fact, while I was in the store, you'll be proud of me to know how thrifty I am, that I actually did look it up on eBay, and it was only two to three bucks cheaper on there, but once I got the two bucks off for the 10%, it, uh, it made it okay to get. So I am careful. You know me. This was $2.92. It is a Needle Treasure Borderlines, um, looks like a watering pot with flowers kit. Got everything. I like when they have the uh, colors organized. That makes it so much easier. Um, got a couple frames. This one says Cowboy. That was $1.91. Isn't that cute? That would be so cute with a little kid's picture in it with a cowboy hat. Um, and to go along with that theme, I got two horseshoe hooks. I believe those were 90 cents each. I got this frame. It's metal. It was $1.91. Isn't it pretty? I like the scrolling design on that. So I got those two. Um, I got a little ceramic tomato. It was so cute I couldn't resist. Got the sign, Life, Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. Isn't that nice? Um, I think I only paid a dollar for that at a garage sale. These are nice. Um, you see so many metal wall hangings with candles, but these were very, you know, simplistic and kind of classy looking. And they have the amber uh, glass in them. 
So a set of two of those, so they were a dollar each, so two for the pair. Um, got this um, frame for 25 cents, it's also metal. Got uh, one of those flat wallets, it was a dollar at a garage sale. Got a, a Texas instrument uh, calculator, that was only 50 cents at a garage sale. Got this cute, cute little house uh, shaped rug beater, that I believe was a quarter. Got this uh, Primitive Sciences Friends. Uh, that was a whole dollar. This is pretty neat. Um, I thought it was just a book. It was uh, $2.92. The Art of Pressed Flowers. It has uh, the books in there, and then it also has a press to make the flowers. So isn't that sweet? That's like a get you started kit. I like stuff like that when you want to try a new craft. Because you don't want to go to the craft store and spend a million dollars on buying everything you need, and then you think, eh, I really don't like this. So that's a nice way to uh, try it out. Um, I was at a couponer's garage sale. They had uh, the dial soap, um, $3 for each package. My husband likes the dial gold. Um, these are really cute. These uh, were at a garage sale for $3 each. And they have little pins in them so you can hang uh, your jewelry or bracelets or whatever on them. Aren't they sweet? I like the black and white fabric. So those were adorable. I got a, uh, I think I was at Michael's or one of those stores. And they had, uh, their calendars are starting to come out already. And this is a small one for a dollar. I have it by my desk upstairs. This one I'll have to read before I sell it. Extraordinary Comebacks, 201 Inspiring Stories of Courage, Triumph, and Success. So my husband will probably want to look at that too. These are the magnetic words. These were at a garage sale for a quarter each. I got three sheets of them. They have 149 words, and this one's nerdy. <laughs> um, these were at a thrift store that was kind of expensive, but these were only 99 cents and there was two of them, so I had to grab them up. It says, Flying Monkeys. I have them and ain't afraid to use them. <laughs> These are neat because you can hang them on the wall, or it's got a little stick that you can put in there and then, you know, lean it like a picture frame. Um, these were $2 at a thrift store, uh, an apple salt and pepper shaker. Aren't they cute? Uh, uh oh, might be missing one. Uh, let's see. This is a very heavy glass owl uh, on a stand that's kind of frosted. That was two. These, when I went into this thrift store, I've been looking for these to put my shells and a candle in to sell. They said two fifty each. I was like, eh, it's a little high, but so I got these two and I got one other item. Can't remember what it was now. And I figured it was going to be like five fifty. So I went up there and she rang everything out and she said uh, three something. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so they were cheaper than I thought. Um, you know, I said in my last video I needed another plastic bin to go downstairs, and this was only three ninety three at um, the one thrift store. It's pretty nice. It doesn't have anything broken. It's not dirty. Some of them you get at the thrift stores look pretty bad. Um, I also got this uh, pine tree, put it away in my winter stuff, it was 75 cents. You know, when you see these, go ahead and, uh, and get them, because once you take the time to sit down and spread all the little branches out, they are really pretty. So, yeah, so 75 cents, you can't hardly beat that. I will show you a couple of items that I got for myself. Um, I got a couple of... Uh, these are fragrances for soap. And when you use fragrances and coloring, uh, if you're doing soap, it has to be cosmetic grade because you are putting it on your skin. So you can't just use like closed eye or stuff because that could be bad. <laughs> and then these are uh, some colors. And then you know how I make my uh, owls that I sell at my antique booth. And when I was in, where was it? I was in so many places, it's hard to keep track. Oh, when I was in uh, Hobby Lobby, I saw these. 
And it's hard to find fabric that coordinates, but they had a lot of fabric that coordinated down there. And most of it was 30% off, so it was about $4 a yard. And I only need a yard, but I can get a lot of owls out of a yard. And then uh, the one on the bottom was actually $4 because it was clearance. Um, so let me show you these, and they just coordinate so nicely. The colors and everything, isn't that pretty? So there's one set. There's two. Uh, the next one I think might be my favorite. Isn't that pretty? With the colors and the polka dots. And then this one's pretty too because of the aqua color. There's these two. So, yeah, I think it's got a bird or something. Yeah, it's got a bird on there too. So, not too bad. So, I just saw this fabric and I was like, oh. So, you know, I'm stocking up for things to do over the winter because I do more sewing and more repairing and more things that are uh, need a little attention. But uh, I think that's all I got for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was worth the wait. <laughs> I know I had one message from one of my subscribers saying, hey, you didn't have a Thursday haul. Is everything okay? <laughs> it's like, yes, I'm so glad someone noticed. So Thursday we drove down. We're about two and a half hours from Columbus. Went down and then we came back on Sunday afternoon. And then my daughter on Monday, uh, yesterday, uh, started college. So, yeah. So busy, busy, busy. Now that everybody's back to school, it's almost like they're in, you know, middle school again. It's just a lot of running. But that's all I had for you. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be back on my regular uh, garage sailing uh, schedule uh, this week, hopefully. Let's see how many there are. I know we're starting to dwindle already. But until then, please uh, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I also wanted to tell you I'm on Twitter now. Yes, I'm tweeting. Isn't that cool? So if you are on Twitter or you are interested, please look me up. My name on there is The Pudgy Picker. So look me up and you can see what I'm doing. I like to tweet pictures and little saying of what I'm doing or what's going on or my silly little observations in life. So if you are interested, I will not inundate you. I do maybe one, maybe two a day if I'm somewhere special. So I won't be blowing up your phone, I promise. So until I see you next time in a few days with another haul, happy picking. Bye!